Hi Capricorn, uh, this is Michelle from The Guided Intuitive and welcome to my channel. I am going to do a uh, four card spread for you from September 15th through September 30th, 2017. And we're going to talk about the past, what's happening now, what's happening in the future, and then also what your final outcome is. And uh, hopefully this will resonate with you. Um, please check your, um, uh, your rising and moon signs as well because that can resonate with you as well. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Um, so let's go ahead and start with your first card. And whoa, your first card is evolution. Uh, and hopefully that you can kind of see it here. I know it's a little bit dark here. And what this talks about here is a little bit about how changes and transformations are actually taking place for you. And what this really means is that you know, as the earth is changing right now and as things are changing, um, we've got a lot of things going on um, in different parts of the United States and abroad uh, in regards to um, all the different um, uh, climate changes and calamities that are taking place. But one thing to realize is that as the earth is changing and moving into greater light through those transformations, um, we are also moving into that ourselves personally. And then there is also a revolution that's happening internally um, within us. Um, you know, so whether or not that we like it or, you know, this planet is going to continue to transform. And, um, you know, we have to be mindful that Mother Earth uh, of her and then also be considerate and very kind to her um, and not fear her changing nature. Um, for just like us, again, she is also um, moving towards greater light. And you'll notice, and you know, that when things like this happen, how people tend to come together with greater love, humanity, consideration, empathy, all of that. And, um, you know, it's just a really wonderful, wonderful thing that, that actually takes place. Um, so when they, when we talk about, you know, transforming to greater light, that's what we're pretty much talking about. And it's almost as if that you are also um, moving in that direction and going through that transformation. Um, and you're kind of going up to, the, to these, you know, different levels. Um, it's almost like the first level is here, second level, and then you move on to where the real bright light is. And so that's where you are right now. So I'm excited to see what's happening in the now for you. Wow. This is pretty, I haven't seen this card in a while. Um, this card here is Amethyst. And I'll have you kind of take a look at that. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And what's beautiful about this is that you kind of see that purple for a little bit more spirituality. And then you also see the light. Um, what this really talks about is that transformation and moving into certainty. Um, and then also moving into uh, confidence, uh, which is really, really beautiful. Um, you know, there, what's happening, it's almost as if there's a, there's a profound transformation that's taking place for you here. And within this, you know, after so much soul searching, this is putting you back in control of yourself, um, where you should be. Um, a little bit more in control yourself where it's not so, you don't feel so off balance. Um, what's happening is, is based upon that last card of going through some evolutionary change, you are now moving into the new you and you're really poised to a new sense of, of confidence. Just know that, you know, the past is behind you, you know, and the hard work has been done. And then all you're going to do is really focus in on try to decide what it is that you truly, truly want, Capricorn. All now is possible. And what you're going to want to do is just really just listen to your heart. Um, you know, and don't settle for second best. Set your course and go for it. And this says here it's about certainty and confidence. You want to be certain and you want to be confident that all is yours for the taking. Um, and um, it, sh it, sh it, it, and it shall be. So I think that's something you've got to remember in your mind, I think, to kind of keep that in mind for yourself and to stay focused uh, as you go through that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what is in the future. Mm, beautiful. Uh, this is attachment. Attachment. And I think what this is doing is, is after you've gone through evolution and transformation, you're, you're kind of letting go um, of the restrictions that in the past may have held you back. 
um, you know, whether it was fear or whatever the case may be, um, this actually puts you a little bit more um, into, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, really letting go and just, you know, focusing on your situation um, that you're in that you can actually free yourself from. And don't be afraid to let go and walk away because there's this deep sense of, you know, um, of, 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 of kind of, uh, um, uh, attachment that you've had in the past. It looks like it's just saying that, you know, that you've maybe been afraid to let go in some instances, maybe in a relationship and walk away because you maybe have a sense of duty to this person, or maybe you've got this, this deep commitment or possibly some sort of guilt. And, you know, those are questions to maybe ask yourself if that resonates with you. Um, you know, if if perhaps that in a past relationship or in a current relationship that you've maybe have felt hurt or disappointed in someone, um, you know, for whatever reason, you almost feel like you have no choice but to stay where you are. And it seems as if this emotional attachment is great and... Um, the fear is overwhelming. So, you know, I think the fact is, is that, you know, because this card came up, I don't think it's a, it's a coincidence here. You know, the message is, is pretty clear is that you're being encouraged to face your fears. And, you know, the thing is about that is, is that when we don't change, how can anything else change? Right. But, you know, within the future, if we keep continuously are too afraid to change and stay where we are at, well, what's going to happen is that that's where you're going to be, where you are at. And this message is, is, is pretty clear on this. It's, it's telling you definitely to let go of restrictions and let go of the fear that you have um, because you're being encouraged to really face your fears at this point. Um, you know, listen, uh, you know, try not to listen to... Um, that fearful voice inside you, um, you know, because what this is telling you is that the, the the fear is a space, that beyond that fear there's a space of, of just a lot of love and light that's guiding you and urging you to break three, free. And this wants you to, to really just trust, to have trust. Um, you know, maybe there'll initially be some upheaval, but eventually all will work out well for all concerned. And you just really owe it to yourself and others. You deserve to feel light and free. Um, and this is asking you really just to step into your power of love within you. And uh, to really guide um, and give you the strength to do what you know is right in your heart. Wow. Wow. And with this letting go, um, you know, you, you just become free of all the negative attachments and you're guided through a power of love. If you look, can look beyond those fears and then just focus on love, knowing that you deserve to be happy um, and follow your heart, I think that you'll be going in the right direction, you know, whether it's for this relationship or, or with you uh, personally. Um, you know, if you let go of an attachment, every time you close one door, we all know what a new door opens. So um, that's something positive to really keep in mind. Let's take a look at your outcome here and what that is. Wow goddess of creation if you can see what that is goddess of creation wow and this this too is still um something that is talking about uh some transformation that you're going through and you know given that this is a seventh card you know it's 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 about a you know a seeker a thinker um a thinker that doesn't take things at face value, you know, so you like to question and understand the hidden things, you know, even though seven is a super lucky number for you. Um, but it's a real introspective card, very, um, you know, spiritual and very, um, intelligent. And what this talks about is that it's, it's just time for you now to chill out and just let go of some of the rigid and fixed ideas and this is a woman really relaxing and taking the time out just to be. 
And it's almost as if that they're asking you to do that as well. You know, you've really been trying too hard lately and you're taking things far too seriously, maybe to a certain extent, could be in this relationship that you have or with a partner. And it's really blocked your creativity and caused your energy levels to be super, super low. Um, and that's in kind of in a lower vibration. Um, and, you know, you probably tell yourself, hey, I don't have enough time to relax. You know, we're just too busy doing our own thing. But this is telling you that now it's a real important time for you to take that time to relax. Make it a priority. And um, you're going to find that it's that an interesting transformation does take place. It's kind of a... A continuous. This is the funny thing is you got three cards here with transformation. Well, four. All of them is transformation, transformation, letting go of your fear, and then once again going through transformation into wholeness. And um, through relaxation, it's going to slow your thoughts and it's going to open your heart. And that is the the fuel for the soul, so you can have a positive flow. Um, effect on your whole entire being. So you, you have to understand that your well-being at this point is paramount importance and not to take it for granted because without well-being, what do we really have? We have all that lower vibration of the fear, you know, the anxiety and that type of thing. So, you know, it's just a really wonderful time for you, Capricorn, to check out um, and just to really um, just let go of maybe some of the rigid and fixed ideas you have and just just be for a while and settle in that. Um, you know, perhaps meditation or just taking a time, a moment in each day to relax and just to nurture your spirit. Um, and then really, with by doing that, it's going to create more balance, not only in yourself, but in that particular relationship or, or others that are around you. So um, that's the message that I have for your Capricorn. Um, I hope you enjoy and uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your September and I look forward to uh, speaking with you in October. Namaste.